swimming is one important way of moving for animals that live in water. Many water animals have legs that are shaped like paddles. This sea turtle's legs are really fine paddles for swimming. Fish, too, use their fins as paddles. A fish can paddle and steer its body through the water with a slight twist of its fins. Look at that porpoise leap. The fins of fish and other animals, like the porpoise, enable them to swim with great speed. Some water animals have special kinds of feet. The starfish, which lives in the ocean, has several arms with many tube-like feet. From underneath we can see that each of the strange-looking tube-like feet has a suction cup at its end to help the starfish hold onto things. Here the camera has speeded up the foot action so we can see it better. Crabs have ten legs. This hermit crab lives in a borrowed seashell for protection. It walks about carrying its shell house wherever it goes. One pair of the blue crab's legs are paddle shaped for swimming. A snake hopper has wings for flying and six legs for walking. But it gets its name of grasshopper because it has powerful hind legs for hopping among the grasses, on which it sometimes feeds. See how quickly it can jump. And the toad, too, has strong hind legs for hopping. Toads, grasshoppers and kangaroos are among the champion hoppers of all the animals. The kangaroo has very small front legs, which it doesn't use for hopping, but it really doesn't need them, as you can see, since it can hop so well just using its powerful hind legs. Many land animals use their legs for walking and running. Huge animals like elephants need large, sturdy legs and feet to carry their great weight. They can run with speed when necessary, but usually walk along slowly. Mountain sheep live in the rugged mountains where they do a lot of climbing. They have tough, sharp-pointed toes so that they can get a good footing as their strong legs carry them swiftly over the steep mountainsides. Squirrels, too, are good at climbing. A squirrel's feet are equipped with sharp claws for holding onto the bark and branches of the trees where they find food, shelter and safety. And monkeys are just as good tree climbers as the squirrels. They're as much at home in the treetops as other animals are on the ground. This relative of the ostrich is an emu. Let's watch the emu run when we slow down the motion. While some animals have ways of moving on land and in the water, there are many that can fly through the air. The beautiful flamingo gets up speed for a takeoff by running as fast as it can at the same time that it flaps its wings. But birds are not the only animals that glide through the air. The flying squirrel doesn't actually fly, but it launches itself from trees, spreads its feet out wide, and glides on wings of skin stretched between its legs and body. An interesting bird that seems to like to glide is the familiar pelican. When it lands, it uses its webbed feet as a landing gear. It uses its feet as paddles, too, for swimming. And when the pelican takes off, it uses its feet to help lift its body out of the water and into the air. How gracefully it glides!
It's probably looking for a fish in the water below. See it dive for the fish. That looks like great sport, doesn't it? Let's watch it again. <laughs> 